it's me Robin with Simple Food Simple Life. I'm in the kitchen today and I'm going to make a meal out of the pantry in the spirit of Three Rivers Pantry Challenge. So today is February 23rd, 2024. Getting towards the end of February and the end of the challenge, at least end of the challenge for me. So um, stick around and I appreciate you being here. Let's see what we got. Okay. All right. Okay, these are going to be my components of the meal. I've got some tuna. It's just a Dollar General tuna. Cost a dollar. I've got some, a partial sleeve of crackers in this box here. I've got some Dollar General uh, chicken rice and sauce. That is a dollar. This is some canned peas. They come from Aldi and they were, I don't know, the last I checked or when I bought these, they were 58 cents, 54 cents. Let's just say 50 cents. I've got some parsley. I've got some minced onion. I have an egg and salt and pepper. So that is pretty much going to be our meal today. So let's get started and I'll show you how we're going to go. Okay, here's the tuna. If you've never tried the Clover Valley tuna, which is Dollar General, it's really good. It's nice and chunky. I actually prefer it over the name brand, which costs like 35 cents more than this, but it's very good. <clears throat> I've got a partial sleeve of soda crackers here, so I'm going to use a portion of this. I'm going to crumb these up. And then I have an egg that's going to go into this. I'm going to make tuna patties or tuna cakes. You can see that the tuna is undrained. So I've crushed up the crackers in a plastic bag and I'm going to use one cup of the crushed up soda crackers in the tuna. And I'm going to put in one egg. And then I'm just going to mix them all up. I think I'm going to put a little salt and pepper in them as well. Even though the soda crackers are somewhat salty. Putting in some dehydrated onion. And I'm going to put in some parsley. <laughs> I don't know why I like saying parsley like that. I just do. Parsley. Some dried parsley. And for the fun of it, hang on, i got to grab a spoon here. I'm going to put in a teaspoon or two of my homemade sweet pickle relish. I've never done this before, but I think it just sounds kind of good. So, in it goes. What do you think? Think it's going to be good? I think it's going to be good. Start mixing this up. I'll get in there with my handy panties here in a minute, but <clears throat> just wanted to break that egg up. Let's see how far we can make this go. I am anticipating that I will get two meals out of my tuna. Five ounce can of tuna cost a dollar. I'm able to use up my pantry items. Now I know that you can get tuna cheaper other places, but 
I do like the Dollar General tuna, the Clover Valley. I think it's really good. Look at that. What do you think? I think that looks pretty good. All right, we'll be back. I have some beef tallow heating up in my iron skillet, and that's what we are going to cook these in, but I want to let this sit for a few minutes so the crackers can get absorbed. In the meantime, I'm going to get the water going for this packet of Clover Valley rice and sauce. It's chicken flavored. Uh, it calls for two cups of water and a tablespoon of butter, which is optional. I did put that in there. So this has to come to a boil. And then we put the packet in. It cooks for seven minutes and then sits off the heat for two minutes and it's done. I'm not going to do anything special to it. I'm just going to make it according to the directions. So I thought I'd get my water heated up. In the meantime, I've melted some beef tallow in this cast iron skillet because that's what I have. So I'm just going to use that to fry up the tuna patties. I've got my handy dandy ice cream scoop here. So this is what I like to use when I'm doing salmon patties, tuna patties. Um, it just makes it a lot easier. So here we go. I'm going to put them in there and see how many we get, get. I'm not really sure. I'm thinking maybe four or five, and usually there's a little one in there. So, some of you have seen me do this before where I just use the ice cream scoop and then I, when I flip them, I, I use the spatula to pat them down and then I get nice little patties. So here we got four. That's pretty good. And as usual, I think I'm going to get that little bitty one. <laughs> that little tiny one. You know, that's the chef's portion, you know. <laughs> that's for the chef, which is neat. Okay. There, that's a smaller one, but that's okay. So we got this many out of a five ounce can of tuna, some crackers, an egg, and a couple of other ingredients. Now I'm gonna turn these over. You notice I don't crowd them too much in the pan because I don't want to I don't want them to squish each other. We gotta leave lots of room. See how easy that is to do? You don't really have to handle them or try to make patties out of them. Just do it like that. I do the same thing with sausage. I can do that with sausage as well. These are going to be flipped several times so that they can get perfectly brown and good on all sides. Look at that, isn't that awesome? You can add a little cayenne pepper to this if you think you would like that. That would be good. Add whatever seasoning spices you want in this. It's up to you. Okay, I put the peas in a saucepan. Now, I could do these in the microwave, but I really like canned vegetables when they're cooked on the stove, uh, warmed up on the stove, and al allow the, the liquid to cook down on them, and then add a little pat of butter, and they are awesome. I've given the tuna patties a flip. You can see how they're really looking good. I'm really, really hoping that the... That, uh, homemade sweet pickle relish in there gives them a really nice flavor. I'm excited about that. 
the water has come to a boil, so we're just going to add in our, our rice and sauce packet. It says to cook it for seven minutes, so when this comes back up to a boil, I'm actually going to set my timer for seven minutes. I'm going to give the tuna patties another flip. There's just something about this, the um, saltines or the soda crackers that add such a lovely crispness to the... Anytime you make salmon patties or tuna patties, I prefer soda crackers as a filler than other fillers because it adds a real crunchy flavor to the, to the patties. Back up to a boil. I'm going to set my timer for seven minutes and let it cook. Okay, dope. The tuna patties are done. And while we're waiting on the rice so that I can plate this up and show you what this looks like, I'm going to taste the small one. It's the chef's. Surprisingly, the relish is really good in there. It's sort of a, hang on, I'm going to put the lid on this rice. There's actually sort of a sweetness in the, in the patty. It's really good. Now, you could make tartar sauce for this or some kind of dipping sauce if you want to. I don't have any mayonnaise, so. See what that looks like? It's really good. I'm very happy with it. I would put the the relish in the uh, tuna mixture uh, again. I would do that again. It's really good. All right. Let me get this plated up for you and show you what our meal looks like. Okay. This is what we got out of our meal today. <laughs> out of our... Actually very cheap meals. Uh, it cost around a total of $2.50, give or take, with for all of our ingredients. Um, and that egg, that's the last egg I had left, so that really cost pennies. So um, I'm going to say around two fifty. dollars And so I've got a meal ready to go. I've got a meal that is um, a meal prep right here. And I had enough rice mixture and peas left for actually for another meal. I can put a hot dog in the air fryer and actually I would have a nice lunch with what's left there. So honestly, I think I did pretty well. For considering how much all of this cost and considering that it actually came out of the pantry. I'm very, very happy with this. All right, that's it for me today. I love you guys. You know I do. As always, you know that little is much when God is in it. All right, uh, tell me what you think of this. Put it in the comments. Maybe you've got all of the ingredients in your pantry for this meal or a similar meal. And I did want to mention, in thinking about it, I love the sweet relish in these tuna patties, but I think uh, tuna or uh, dill relish would be really good in the tuna patties, or just some chopped up dill pickles would be awesome. 
I just had to put that in there. Okay, I love you guys. I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.